All right. So you got $500. And you're wondering, can you get the financial freedom with that? In this video, I'll be going over a few things that you can do today to get started on your journey towards financial independence. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, kings and queens before we jump into it right i just want to say thanks for the love the support on the channel that we get you know on this journey towards financial independence together and if you're new to the channel man since you're here man give it a like you know it brings awareness to the channel subscribe hit the bell notification to stay updated on future videos you know we uh bring them every week you know so uh thanks for being here and uh you know we'll get into it right now right so oh my bad i mean all right so now let's get into it. Gotta need a little coffee for this. So you got $500. A few things you can do today to get you started, right? The very first thing that you should do is invest in yourself. Man, I know you don't want to hear that. I didn't want to hear it. I jumped, man, trust me, man. I jumped into stuff, uh, drop shipping, open e-commerce stores, you know, Shopify, GoDaddy, buying websites everywhere, you know. I didn't, I didn't have no knowledge, you know, I didn't invest it in myself. I just seen it, boom, boom, jumped in it. So, first off, invest in yourself. Before you approach anything in life, invest in yourself, get some education going. I said it a lot already, right? Invest in yourself because it's super important. You need to make sure you educate yourself before you, you know, spend your money. And if you already got limited cash flow, you just don't want to spend the $500 at once and boom, there goes your your chance right because you wasn't prepared right so make sure uh, whatever niche you pick whatever department category in life or whatever opportunity that comes your way stocks e-commerce social media uh, whatever you, you may YouTube channels or whatever you want to go in just make sure you invest in yourself first right meaning hey YouTube school of knowledge right YouTube that shit up uh, if you want to learn anything it's there at your fingertips, right? The world's history is right there in the palm of your hand on your phone. So learn it. I mean, there's so many other channels out there that just give so much information for free on all those departments. Like what? Like anything? So a thing that people say, right, is knowledge is power. I don't believe that. I believe knowledge is a tool that needs to be used. So while you're educating yourself and you're investing yourself, maybe picking up a mentor or two, right? putting your $500 to work to learn how to, to flip that money, right? Because maybe you could save up another $500. Maybe it costs a couple hundred dollars to get a mentor or a loan or pick up an e-course or something, right? It costs you a couple hundred dollars to do that, but the, educate, the, the knowledge that you get from it can help you progress or make even more progress in the thing that you're going after, right? All right, so enough of that. Invest in yourself, educate, all right, we got it. But what can you do today with $500 to help you get started on your, on your journey towards financial freedom? Basically anything. Man, even he gets it. Basically, there's almost any category in life you can take $500 and flip it and, and do something with it. You can even do it with real estate. You can buy real estate with zero money down. You know, there's a, if there's a will, there's a way. If there's a way, there's a will or something like that. Either way, you can do it. So, for one, if I had five hundred dollars started today, I need I want to multiply my money fast, right? I want to turn that five hundred into a thousand. I'm not gonna pick up day trading stocks or anything like in that nature because it's a little bit too risky, right? If you if you got natural talent for it, yeah, go ahead. But if if you're trying to just now learn it, nah, you need something a little bit more concrete, a little bit more solid return, right? That you can make money. One thing you can do with limited cash flow right now today is buying low, selling high, right? Buy low, sell high, but what? Go to garage sales. Pick up anything that you seem like it's a deal, especially vintage stuff, right? Fix them up, refurbish them. If you got a little talent for that, for like chairs and stuff like that, if you could do that, man, do it. Somebody sitting on the couch, pick that shit up, haul that shit to your house, fix it up real quick, you and your family or you by yourself, flip it. Put that shit back on eBay and just sell it for a little bit, but a little bit of profit, right? You could do it. Go to thrift shops, right? 
buying low and selling high, right? It's just a, it's an easy, simple concept. Look on YouTube. I'm telling you, just YouTube it. There's people out there doing it. If they can do it, so can you. You just need the drive to actually go out there and do that, right? It's dirty work, but hey, it's money to be made there. If if I had like low income or me medium income and just limited money, and I just saved up like a scrounge and I saved up a little five hundred dollars, I don't want to waste it. I ain't got money to waste. I ain't got money or time to waste. So you know what? I'm gonna go for a guarantee because you need guarantees to get you where you're going, right? You can't afford to risk to put bet five hundred on black, thinking that you're gonna double it, right? Nah. Now nah, we need guarantees. So that's the first thing I would have did. So that was some short term stuff, right? Some stuff that you can make some quick cash here and there, right? Buying low, selling it high. Go out there looking for deals, flipping it, right? So that's some short term stuff, some quick cash that you can make to, you know, flip your 500 real quick. So some medium things, medium meaning like uh, it, might, it might take a little bit longer to like get, get it going, right? You'll have to invest your 500 slowly but surely you know you will make it back as long as you you keep going with it that's the thing staying disciplined right persistence and discipline confidence and just keep going with it so the second thing that i would do if i did not do the first one or if i just didn't want to do like buying low sun high because that's just not my trade or i'm an introvert so i don't really like see myself going out there and doing that right one-to-one -one, you know trades so this, the next thing I would do is more of an introvert style where you can do it from your home. Right here. Open up an online store, e-commerce, something like that. So it's a little bit saturated right now, of course, but is there still money to be made? Hell yeah. You can still do it. You just got to be able to grind out your competition, right? But like I said before, if, if I have $500 and I'm about to go open up a Shopify store, I'm not going to approach it like how I did the first time, right? Remember the first time I feel uh, I fall flat on my face with that store. I made a few bucks here, but it cost me a little bit more in the long run. I think I might have came out uh, broke even. So what I would do is open up an e-commerce store. However, I would take I would take that five hundred and figure out the cost of how much will it cost me to actually get a store up and running, right? All of the subscriptions, all of the plugins, because you're going to need plugins for your Shopify store or your Blueprint store or your WordPress, I mean, or, you know, whatever you use, uh, you're going to need domains and protection and all this type of good stuff, right? So I would figure out how much is that going to be? 300 Cool. So it's going to be about $300 to get everything up and running. So I would take that 200 and I would go invest in myself first before I spent that. I would set that 300 aside, take the 200 and invest in myself. I would pick up e-courses, learn from the best, get a mentor, right? DM a bunch of people saying, hey, can you teach me? How much will it cost to teach me? I wanna learn for free, you know? Or whatever you can do to get some information or insight, right? It's, a, it's probably thousands of people out there drop shipping or running an e-commerce store and they're just willing to help. They already made it, now they're just trying to give back. I'm telling you, somebody out there willing to help. There's always somebody out there willing to help. You just gotta be willing to go out there and ask a hundred people, a thousand people to pick up that one free mentor. E-commerce, definitely, man, it's a big space right there. You know, just Google it, right? Google the stats on the rise of e-commerce, right? More people now, especially with COVID-19, are just shopping online. Uh, and I mean, just look how, how many physical stores are just like shutting down, right? I mean, Toys R Us of all. I thought that shit was gonna be around forever, but behold. So you can start affiliate marketing. That's another one that you can do, hey man, from, the, from your home, buy less than $500, pick up a site, you know, just get it from the ground up running and just figure out how to do it, right? But before you do any of these things, you need to, once again, I'm going to keep saying this, you need to educate yourself because $500, hey man, let's just be real, it's not a lot of money. So knowing that it's not a lot of money, you got to make sure that what you put your money into is going to pay off, right? You need a guarantee or at least a strong possibility that, hey, you spend this, you can make something back. There's, once again, 
tons of information on YouTube that people are just giving out good, solid, real information that you can use today to get started to make $50 a week. $50 a week, $200 a month. Yo, that's an extra $2,400 a year. But then if you keep going and you keep making more progress with it, reinvesting the money into yourself, learning how to do it more and more and more, it could be $100 a week, $500 a week. You know, the potential is unlimited. Third thing that I would do is more long-term. However, it's gonna get you more branding and it's gonna get you more longevity, right? It's gonna be a little bit more uh, structured, right? More concrete. Now, that involves social media platforms, right? Branding yourself, branding your name or your company or whatever, right? So you can, once again, let $500, Hey, what can you do with that? You can start an Instagram page, Facebook groups, Facebook, some podcasts, a YouTube channel, right? All these things are free platforms that you can start today that you can monetize down the road, right? I don't know if you can see my hand, so let me just bring that back, right? Down the road. So definitely, that's something to look into. If you're an extrovert or maybe an introvert, you can still do YouTube. I mean, there's a bunch of channels out there. Find something you could talk about. Start talking every single day. Just push out content every single way on every single platform as much as you can, as fast as you can, for as long as you can, right? Just keep going. You can monetize your Instagram, you can monetize your YouTube, you can monetize Facebook, right? All these things that you can do. So find the niche. Maybe you love talking about sports. Maybe you love talking about Dragon Ball Z, right? Pick it up, start a channel. How am I talking about the same thing everybody talking about? Just talk about it in a different way. Talk about it in your style, you know? So what if he doing it? You do it. So what if he does it every Tuesday and Thursday? You do it every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, right? Just do it more. And you just start to your YouTube channel today or tomorrow or whenever you watch this and you, you started a YouTube channel? Leave a comment down there below. Leave your channel, man. I'll subscribe. I'll watch it. Shit, I'll, I'll probably buy something from you if you sell it. Man, you serious? Man, you got them right. I'm serious. I'll support you, bro. I got you. All right. So short term, go out there, find a deal, flip it, buy low, sell high. Middle ground, open up an e-commerce store, drop shipping, affiliate marketing. There's so many different things you can do out there, and there's many more, right? The third thing I do is more long term. Like I said, YouTube, Instagram, social media, but it's more branded, right? Your name will, will last so that's something you can do and then later down the road you can monetize and potentially make some money off of it right but you won't got put in some work which leads me to the first last but the most important thing is educate yourself invest in yourself if you could see five hundred dollars to this point right i would honestly take that money and invest it back into yourself pick up some books get a mentor buy an e-course right Anything you can do, invest in yourself, educate yourself, YouTube, Google, blogs, read, anything that you can do to get that money, right? Because $500 is not enough, right? I mean, we know this. So you wanna make sure your money, you get, the, you get your money's worth, right? Don't just waste it. Don't just waste it and then have to save another 500 so you can take another at bat at something else, right? I wouldn't do that. You need guarantees. And one guarantee is investing in yourself. That's a 100% guarantee. I would say that's like a 1,000% guarantee uh, return on your investment because who knows what you can do with the knowledge that you get, right? Reading one of these books. What is that? The Color of Law, real estate book. I haven't touched that book yet. It just looks there, right? He holding it down for me. But invest in yourself. Educate before you take action, right? I mean, action is great. But with limited funds, you want, like I said, you want to make sure you get a guarantee or a strong possibility of making some money back. All right, Kingdom family. So if you got any value from this video, uh, you know, hit that like button. Like I said, it brings awareness to the channel. You know, share some knowledge. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell notification just to stay updated on future videos. You know, and uh, if you have any video ideas, if you have something that you want me to touch on or whatever, or it's a question you like to ask and a topic that you think of, leave it down here in the comment section. I'll definitely do it. I'll hit you back and get a video up for you, right? And once again, 
man, I appreciate the love. Y'all out there, be safe, stay blessed. And uh, you might want to watch one of these videos or one of these videos. Peace. Oh, my God.